Hello and welcome. This is the Asylum and today we're solving my puzzle, Keep the Doctor Away. Here are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Outside the grid there are two types of clues. Japanese sums and little v killers. The clues without arrows, like this 1 or this 12, are Japanese sums. They show the sum of the contiguous region in that row or column that has shaded the color of the clue. All colors in the grid are shown, with the exception of the V region. We'll get to that in a second. The clue with an arrow, this 20, is a little V killer. Like normal little killers, it sums this diag it sums the indicated diagonal, in this case this one. This sums to 20. But in addition, there must be exactly one adjacent region of this diagonal, say right there, that sums to 5. So if we saw that that was 2 or 3, we could not put any other way to make 5 along this line together. Furthermore, the V region in this puzzle must be shaded the color of the clue. So if we found out this was a 2 and a 3 and was our V region, it would turn green. Now, the little V killer has a big brother called the little X killer. The little X killer is exactly like a little V killer except that its X region sums to 10 instead of to 5. But there must be again exactly one re such region. And they have an even bigger brother, the little XV killer, which has both an X region and a V region on it. But again, exactly one X region and exactly one V region. And that's the rules for the puzzle and the little X killers. So let's solve my puzzle. So the first thing I notice is that this is a one because there's a brown one there and that's the only place brown goes. So let's put in brown one. Now the next thing I'm drawn to is this 12 clue. This 12 clue is limited to three cells. And as we can see with this handy little sums helper I wrote, that 12 can only be three, four, or five if it's limited to three cells. So let's color that in and type in our 3, 4, 5. Now we've got a 12 here. Now 12 again we have, has to be at least 3. Um, but this one it could go here except that we know that there is no coloring in this, this column or this column. So we know this 12 has to be here. Furthermore we know it has to be 3, 4, 5. Let's shade that in. Now, this 10 also, we'll come back over here to my sums helper real quick and pull up a 10 so we can see what 10 looks like. Yeah, max size is 3 because we can't go outside of it. Max size 3 and we're 10. We have two options, 1, 4, 5 or 2, 3, 5. Okay, but either way we know we're 3, we're three long. Just like the, just like, oh, the 12. So let's paint things in red. Now we've got this 9 and this 10 are singular clues. So these have to connect. And do. Now we've connected them. Now that it's all good. Now let's look at a 9 real quick in the sums helper, just so we make sure we know what we're looking for. And this is size 3, so we know that it's 135 or it's 234. Alright, knowing that, let's first, well, we know that one of these is a two, 1 or a 2, and one of these is a 1 or a 2, because both the 10 and the 9 need them, need a 1 or a 2. We're not sure where they are yet, but that's where they are. Now, sorry if you've been screaming at me to, to put that 2 in. Now, up here, we also know that if we don't find the, 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 the other pair, this is the 1, say, this would be going to be a 3, 4, 5. So we know that there's a 1 and a 2 up here, too. So we know that there's a 2 there, a 1 there, and a 1 there, a 2 there. Yeah, my, my pencil marking is a little confusing because I'm just marking the columns, but I haven't figured out a good way to do otherwise pencil mark this. Um, so we've got that. Now let's look at this diagonal. This little X killer, or excuse me, little V killer. My bad. This little V killer. Now it sums to 20 on a 5 length diagonal. That means it has an average of 4. That's a pretty big average. That means everything needs to be a 4 except for 2 squares, really. Or, yeah, basically. 
Now let's try to make a five with any, let's try to make a five and then see what happens. So let's say this was two and three. All right, now we have to do, we can't put a five on there because that would create another V region. So we can only do four, four, four. If we do four, 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 we get 12 plus the V region of 17. And no matter how we choose up to make that five, if we choose two, three, or one, four, we're gonna come up with 17. That's not enough. So we know our V region has to be a five. So somewhere along here is a five. Furthermore, the other cells have to be four, 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 and three to add up to 20. So we know the composition of this, that it's three, four, five, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. Now, that's interesting because that just ruled out, whoops, ruled out 1 and 2 from this cell. So we know that this is a 1, 2 pair. That means we know that this is a 3, 4, 5, no longer a 1, 2 pair, and that means this is a 1, 2 pair, or 1, yeah, 1 or a 2. Now we still, this one can't be a 2 anymore, so this has to be a 2, right? No, it's not the, that's that's column logic, not row logic. That means this one has to be in it, though. This does have to be a one because the, we have to put two and one in here somewhere, and if we can't put two up here. We have to be able to put one up here. So that's a one. That's a two. Now that we have two, we know this is three, this isn't a five. So now we've got one five on the outside on this. Now, knowing this is a 2, the same thing happens here. These can no longer be 5. These have to be 3, 4. This then becomes a 5. Now, the 10 requires a 5, always. So that's a 5. That's a 5. That's not a 5. Now we've got a 1, 2 pair here. Now, hey, look, we got a five. We found our five. Re we found our, our, our V region. Let's color in our V region. Furthermore, that lets us know that there isn't a five anywhere else along this line, though we already know that there's <laughs> that it's down to three and four on that line. We know that exactly one of those is a three. We're not sure which one it is yet, but one of those is a three. Now... I'm missing something simple, I'm sorry. Oh, well this is a five. This is a three or a four. Which means this column's other digit is a two, and this is a one, this is a four, this is a three, this is a four, this is a three, this is a four, this is a three, this is a one, this is a five, this is Oops, this is a two, this is a one, uh, this is a three, this is a four, this is a four, this is a three, and this is a two. Congratulations, your solution is correct, and that is how we solve Keep the Doctor Away. And we see how the little Vigo worked. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and that was a, a nice quick solve. Things went really well for that one. So, thank you again, and uh, hope you all have a good night.